Hello and welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Today I'll be showing you how to make a simple dish with bold flavors that will hit every note on your palate. It's caponata, a Sicilian vegetable condiment that's typically served as a sandwich spread. Since the flavors can stand up well against the robust meats and cheeses produced in Italy. But today I want to show you just how versatile this thing really is. So with the addition of a few gluten free baked goods from Rudy's, I'll give you not one, not two, not three, but four rapid fire recipes. All right, let's jump right in. We'll need one eggplant, one zucchini, one bell pepper, four hot peppers, two stalks of celery, one large onion, four cloves of garlic, a half cup of black olives, a half cup of green olives, two tablespoons of capers, two tablespoons of raisins, some olive oil, a large can of diced tomatoes, a quarter cup of vinegar, and some salt and pepper to taste. Wash the veggies, peel the onion and garlic, then chop that eggplant into half inch pieces and toss it into a very large non-stick saute pan with two tablespoons of olive oil and some salt and pepper to taste. Next, chop the zucchini and add it to the pan. Move on to the bell pepper and the hot peppers, then toss those into the pan. Alright, now I forgot to tell you that each time I added a new batch of veggies to the pan, I gave everything a quick stir, pushed all the veggies to one side, added another teaspoon or so of olive oil, then added the next batch of veggies to the mix. And here's the onions and celery. Next, mince the garlic and toss it in with the olives, raisins, capers, tomatoes, balsamic vinegar, then stir everything together and simmer the dish for 20 minutes. Taste it to make sure it has enough salt and we're ready to serve this. So I grabbed a pack of Rudy's pizza crust from the freezer, tossed one onto a baking sheet sprayed with olive oil, then put it into a 425 degree oven for five minutes. I took it out, put it on my cutting board, sliced it into 12 pieces, then I sprayed it with olive oil and shook on some seasonings before tossing it back into the oven for another five minutes. Now we've got a great addition to serve with our spread. And this dish works especially well at a party, not far from the cheese board. But that's not lunch, so I put away the crackers and broke out the provolone cheese and the other pizza crust in the pack. I topped it with the cheese and the star of this episode then tossed it into a 425 degree oven for 13 minutes. When it came out, I threw on some fresh basil leaves before serving this one. You won't find this listed on the pizza shop menu. It's definitely a cut above the average fare, but we're not stopping there, cause I've got a couple of these Rudy's whole grain hamburger buns that I just took out of the freezer. I grabbed an egg and a tablespoon of the caponata, then after scrambling them together, I tossed it into a frying pan to make a sandwich sized frittata. Then I topped it with provolone, another spoon of my favorite condiment, and a little fresh basil. Then I put it all together on a toasted bun for an incredible sandwich. If you're still not convinced that this is the condiment for you, let me give you one last idea. I gathered a few fresh ingredients, an heirloom tomato, a few grape tomatoes, a couple of scallions, some fresh basil, then I sliced up all those ingredients, tossed them with olive oil and balsamic, and a half cup of the caponata, and look at this. It's caponata panzanella salad. I took one Rudy's bun, sliced it in half, then into cubes, tossed those cubes into a dry frying pan to toast for a few minutes. Then I mix them with the fresh ingredients and we have a panzanella salad that's reached a whole new dimension of flavor. Now this might sound like the end of the story, but I just popped a couple of containers into the freezer and as they come out, I'll post future updates in the Caponata Chronicles right there on my blog. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again soon.